Set the Controls, the name of that one you just heard from the Maybes right here on the Tony Jones Show. Before that, one of our favorites around these parts, you heard from the Evil Streaks, that was The Curse. And the last time we chatted, I brought you into The Misfits off of the remixed Project 1950, You're the Devil in Disguise. Facebook.com slash Tony Jones Show on the almighty Twitter at Tony Jones NRI. Of course, be sure to go to TonyJones.org and RIFreeRadio.org. Now, as I mentioned before the break, and, you know, we use quite a bit of social media around here on the Tony Jones Show on Rhode Island Free Radio and for music because, well, it's free and uh, that's what we can afford. But earlier this week, Facebook launched, you have some options now. You can like a post, you can also heart a post, you can smiley face a post, you can o face a post, that sounds filthy, you can crying a post, and you could hothead a little guy uh, frowning with a red head. Those are now all available as options when someone posts for you to react to a post. But, I mean, I guess that's fine. And far be it from me or anybody in that matter to complain about the, I mean, unless you're a stockholder, to complain about what a completely free website does, right? It's free and it should not have any bearing on your life to the point where you can complain. However, How can a company have such a tin ear to the fact that since the beginning of Facebook, the only thing that anybody has ever wanted was a dislike button? I mean, (laughs) that's that's all that's all anybody has has ever asked for and requested on Facebook is a dislike button. And I say that, you know, if Twitter and or another social media platform were to introduce the dislike button, that would be huge because I mean, how how many times have you seen? Uh, you know, uh, I'm in the hospital or, you know, grandma's in the hospital. Now, you don't want to click like because that just sounds awful. But you kind of want to acknowledge, you know, we're thinking about you. We see this. So therein lies what could be the dislike button. But Facebook isn't on board with that. Now, back in the day on MySpace, you gave kudos and not the little healthy candy bar. You gave kudos when people blogged. And you know, it was a little, a little something. That was interesting. But it seems people are fairly underwhelmed with their options this week with the smiley face and the frowny face and the red-headed face and the heart, but far be it for me to complain. We're going to hear some live juice head up next for you. Here's Lorraine right here on the Tony Jones Show.
There, there, the name of that one, a little bit from the Wonder Years right here on the Tony Jones Show. Before that, we heard from the Butcher's Man Man. And last time we chatted, I brought you in some, some live juice head. We heard Lorraine. Facebook.com slash Tony Jones Show. TonyJones.org, of course, on Twitter at Tony Jones NRI. If you're catching us live, I do monitor the social media accounts throughout the broadcast, so that's how you can get a hold of me. And of course, if you're in a local band, you have some music for us, or if you'd like to be in studio, as the weather breaks, we'll be having more in-studio guests here with us, so if you want to get on the calendar, TonyJones.org, click on the contact page, or go to RIFreeRadio.org. Ran into some Rhode Island Free Radio fans earlier this week at the cannabis protest that took place on Tuesday. Now, I don't mean this in any form of a derogatory manner, but as you can imagine, it's a little difficult to organize cannabis activists <laughs> and to get them to show up in the right place and to show up on time. You know, if cannabis activists were a little more deliberate on voting and maybe showing up on the day to vote and remembering to show up to vote, we probably wouldn't be fighting this battle. But uh, it was actually uh, close to, I would say, between 125 to 150 people. When I showed up there, there was about 100 people there. Uh, and then it started to gain momentum. Now, it was freezing cold out, and the protest was outside. So I'm assuming that kept a lot of people away. And also, it was a Tuesday at 4 o'clock, so a lot of people, that's prime working time for them. But uh, getting 100 people to show up at the State House on a Tuesday afternoon in the freezing cold is nothing to scoff at. And it was to protest the tax they want to levy on medical marijuana. So... Some heart-wrenching speeches went out, you know, from folks who had multiple sclerosis and cancer and veterans with PTSD who rely on medical cannabis. And the government here wants to pretty much make that impossible to get to, to access by levying a huge tax. And it's just, you know, kind of another way that the government divides us by saying, well, you know... uh, let the smokers, you know, let them foot the bill. So it was great to see. It was great to see so many, I mean, as you can imagine, every age, every uh, every class of person was there. Uh, but it was great to see such a, a successful protest take place. And uh, unfortunately, the uh, the result is yet to be seen. I think the, the budget may unfortunately go through with that said tax and also... In my opinion, uh, it's not the year for cannabis reform here in Rhode Island because it's the same bill as last year that didn't pass last year, and it's all the same people that are in office that were in office last year. So if it didn't pass last year, unfortunately, it's not looking like it's going to pass this year. But stay tuned to uh, Rhode Island Free Radio and the Tony Jones Show. We're one of the few, even alternative...